Right, so hello everyone. It's Saturday the, I think it's the 18th. Let me just check. It is Saturday the 18th of June. So, um, yeah, we're just going to go up to the shops, meet up with the grandkids. Um, one sec. And, um, yeah, and we're going to just have a coffee and that. I think the girls are going to get their nails done and stuff like that. Um, but, yeah, we're going to go and meet with the grandkids and stuff. So, just going to um, do a little video today and just of what's going on. i um, going to give Mark a call, see if Mark's around later. And if he is, I might go and see him tonight, if nothing happens in between. Mandy's got some of her friends around later. So, um, yeah, I might do that. So, uh, see you in a bit. So up at the shops, just um, sitting across the while the girls are just running around Asda's grabbing a couple of bits. I thought my little man was up here, but um, it turns out he's still at home. So I was going to do a little vid with Ted, but um, yeah, he's not here. So I'll see him Monday anyway. But um, yeah, so the girls are just popping around Asda and I think we're going to sit and have a coffee and whatnot. So I imagine Josie will, Josie's with, um, with Kirst, so probably get a little video, a little video with Jose. So the girls are out of Asda's, they've just took some bits back to the car and then I think they're coming back to Costa Fortune for a, a drink. I'm just going to meet up with Kirsty and that coming out as well. So, um, yeah, just going to have a coffee with everybody. Hope everyone's doing well today and uh, catch you in a bit. So, what are you going to go and eat, Jose? Um, uh, I don't know. <laughs> You do know, where are you going to get food? Um, <laughs> uh, <laughs> getting closer to me. Um, Push you in the bush? No! Push you in the bush? No. Um, she is going to CFK. <laughs> you spelled it wrong. What is it then? KFC. There you go, I've got the answer out of her. So, finally, what you got? So, I got a large, hey, what's it called? A large popcorn chicken meal and Diet Pepsi. Oh, very nice. And is it nice? Cool. And is your belly ache gone now? Brilliant. She had a belly ache two minutes ago. And she's had a donut before this as well, bless her. So as you can see, Josie had her KFC and a donut, even though two minutes before she was moaning about a bad belly, bless her, I've got to love her, she's brilliant. Um, right, the girls have just zipped into Wilkinson's quickly, just to grab a couple of bits. Manny's going to get me a flavour of water while she's in there. And then I think they're going to go and get some Subway and have a, have a little bite to eat before they go to get their nails done, I think. I think Mandy's going to go and get her nails done. I'll probably end up um, running Kirsty at home and then um, I'll just chill at home. I can have me a bit of lunch and stuff by the time I get back and then I'll come and grab her when um, when she's done. So I say, hope everyone's uh, everyone's doing all right today. The weather's not fantastic here in Swanley today. It's still the sun's trying its best to come out. Um, it's a bit overcast. They're saying rain um, around the sort of two o'clock mark or whatever. So. We'll just have to see what happens. Um, plan is that I will go and visit Mark tonight. We'll watch a bit of the, we'll watch the uh, F1 qualifying. We both like a bit of F1. That's the plan at the moment. But you know me, everyone knows me. Things always happen in between. So that's the plan at the moment anyway. And I've got a little bit of, uh, I've got a rack to put up in the bathroom this afternoon for Mandy. Um, I needed different fixings for it because it's a cavity wall. So I've got that sorted. So oh, yeah, I'll do that for her before bugger off out later but um yeah i'll catch you all in a bit just a quick one everyone don't forget tomorrow night um no yeah sunday tomorrow yeah God, i was in the plot don't forget tomorrow night um 7 p.m um be doing another live um instagram so um if you can join uh, that would be great any new new um followers wanting to jump on Please do. Very relaxed, very uh, informative. Um, nice group of us on there. Uh, regulars. Um, so yeah, if you can, jump on 7pm. You'll get the notification anyway. So uh, just click to join. Cheers. 
So as children do, every time they go to the shop, they have to get something. And today we've got... Play-Doh. Play-Doh. What are you going to make? I don't know. I make food. You're making food? What food are you making? Can you make me a little pizza? Yeah. Go on then. We'll come back to you once you've made it. So I've actually got a little bit of rain speckling in the air. They said about two, so it's quarter past one now. So, yeah, they're, they're pretty on the money with that. So, um, yeah, just uh, hope it don't buck it down before we get back to the car. Okay, so the pizza's ready. One second. Here you go. Thank you. What toppings have I got? Um, pepperoni and cheese. Cheese and pepperoni with tomato base or barbecue base? Uh, ketchup. Tomato base. Okay, thank you very much. Thanks, Josie. You're welcome. So, I'm back home now. Um, Kirsty's gone home, Ruby's gone home, Josie's dropped all them off, and now Mandy and Chloe are still up the shops. Mandy's getting her nails done, so, um, yeah, I'm just going to have a bite to lunch, and then um, I'll fly up and pick them up. But, um, yes, going to um, go and see Mark tonight. I'm going to message him now and get his address off of him. So, um Finally going to meet up with a guy, um, so yeah, that should be nice tonight. So, in the car, it is uh, 5.30 and I'm just on my way to meet up with Marky boy, so uh, yeah, speak to you soon. Evening everyone, so I finally made it round to Mark and met Mark. We're just going to sit and watch the qualifying for the motor racing and um, yeah, and uh I'll do I'll do I'll do a little video with Mark after the qualifying anyway, and then um, yeah, and I'll and I'll um, speak to you all soon. Right, so I'm at Mark's and uh, yeah, we're gonna just do a little video together. So like Mark was talking and I hadn't even pushed record, bless him. So, but yeah, nice to meet Mark finally. Hello everyone. And uh, yeah, I've been threatening to do it for weeks, but um, yeah, the missus has got company at night, so rather than uh, doing my nutting. I thought, um, well, I've got to kind of escape for a little while, so we're just going to watch a bit of F1 qualifying because Mark likes his F1 as well. Yeah, just watching it on the big screen. Yeah. It's nice to finally have Martin here. And he has He's got, a busy man. And he has got a fucking big teddy and all. Don't worry about that. It's a big old screen. But, um, yeah, it's um, we're going to try and meet up a bit more regular in that now. So, um, I mean, the, the weather's pretty shitty today, so um, we will definitely be able to go out for a stroll and stuff. I know Mark's been going out and having a little walk himself. Yeah, not too far yet. My back was a bit better with it today, actually. Was it getting better, yeah? Yeah. Yeah, it will do over time. It's just, um, you you know, you, you, the way your body adjusts as well and you you find um, your posture changes and stuff. So that's what I've found with it. I think because my posture's changed quite a lot. Um, I mean, I walked around today and I had no back issues and maybe six weeks ago I would have still been niggling quite bad so um that does that does change over time mate well yeah we've been uh i don't know how long you've been in now a couple of hours, couple of hours yeah yeah we've been shooting the shit talking about all sorts um not just weight loss stuff just general life experience yeah that's it and that's what it's all about it's all yeah. about you know um the community we like, we like to be part of and um it's all about sort of you know it don't really matter what the subject is. Nothing's off limits, you know. The more you know about someone and you, the more you can understand, like, why they've come on the journey or, or why they're thinking of going on the journey. I mean, um, Mark's still, what are you, four weeks this week or something? Four weeks Wednesday, yeah. Yeah, so, so Mark's still, you know, he's coming up for his month. So, um, and he's doing really well. I've been watching him. He's, he's been drinking well and stuff. And um, so he's getting to the point now where he's probably going to start bringing introducing some soft foods into his diet i want to find something other than mash yeah yeah well <laughs> that's I, no for, good. yeah for me mash has not been uh, that's not been something i've gone to because i just see potato as, as too much carb for me but that's just for me um as i always say for someone else it might be good but um yeah i mean just try and introduce you know some just some general soft stuff really and if it even if it's a bit um even if something's a little bit sort of firmer to start with, you can always blend it down a little bit or... Or chew the shit out. Yeah, yeah, or just chew, chew the granny out of it. Like, I, I, I did. I, I mean, and John did the same. That's what he said. He like, If you will see his video he did for his year thing, he mentions again about puree. He didn't, he just... He skipped that stuff. Yeah, he? he absolutely skipped it. And he, he said to me, he just chewed the granny out of whatever he had. And 
it, the thing is, if you keep chewing, um, you pretty much liquidise whatever you've got in your mouth anyway. So um, the saliva will break it down. So, yeah, I mean, it'd be nice to see how Mark gets on when he goes on to some um, soft foods and stuff. I'm looking forward to seeing, feeling what the restriction yeah, you, you need to learn what the restrictions are about, yeah. you know what I mean? And then you know your limits and stuff. So um, I say the only restrictions I've ever had, as I've said before, really is scrambled egg, but which is quite surprising because it's very soft. But I don't know if it's just the texture of a scrambled egg that's that's, that's yeah. restricting me. I'm, I'm not quite sure. But I've stayed away from it. Um, yeah. But by, go for it. Try it out, Mark. You my, know I mean? my, uh, one of my diet sheets spoke about having pureeing scrambled egg. The puree station. Oh, okay. And that sounded disgusting. Well, yeah, I mean, and the uh, same as like the pureeing meat. Yeah, I would never puree <laughs> meat. I oh, know, I would never, I would never puree meat. Oh, that was something that I just stayed away from. I mean, <laughs> I'll be honest. I did, I did when I when I originally made up my first lot of puree. I did. Um, I cooked up chicken wings in a slow cooker, and then I used the broth as my broth thing. Yeah. Um, and then what I did was the vegetables, I think I had, if I remember, I had onion, carrot and something else in it. And I did blitz the meat um, and made that into a puree. But when I did have it the couple of the first times I had it, I added gravy with it. Um, so really all I could taste was gravy. It just tasted like chicken gravy, thick yeah. chicken gravy. But um, yeah, puree for me was pretty much a no-go as well. I, I just went, skipped from... Fluids basically on to very, very soft foods and, and slightly thicker soups. Well, I mean, I'm going to be hitting four weeks and basically have been on liquid. I've had like two cans of soup. Right, in the okay, last okay. Week. You said you had chicken, did you have chicken soup? You said cream and chicken soup. Yeah. And then I had some oxtail today, which was much better. I tried some French onion soup. Right, okay. And because uh, I love onions. Yeah. Right. But it was disgusting. <laughs> it, just even the but that's it. it. But that's it. You're never going to know. Um, and this is what I've said before, people. If you, you're never going to know until you try things. Um, you know, as Mark said, he tried it. it, it as much as he loves onions, it, it, it was rank. Well, yeah. So and it was. I think it had like sherry in it, and oh, the onions okay. cooked down, so it was really sweet. Right. Okay. And you know, I'm having enough with the sweet stuff. Yeah. Because it's just shakes and waters, and I have now started on. Cordial. Great, yeah, that's uh, great. Because I've just been doing water before, but uh, yeah. that's good. And I'm I'm pleased I'm no longer crushing the tablets. Oh, uh, one hundred percent. Yeah, I mean that's that's just that's... knocking them back whole. And it also means I've got five days left of the compression, the soft kings, and the injections. Yeah, you must, Yeah, you're going to say you must be close to ending that. Which now. is just as well because I want to get rid of these. Fucking huge bruises. <laughs> oh mate, yeah, I know, yeah, the no, I've got. nasty things, nasty things. But anyway, it was yeah. it was nice to it was nice to come and meet Mark and we're gonna make a point of trying to walk up if we can, maybe once a week or something. Um and we're keeping an eye on each other's progress and stuff like that. Um, Mark's been asking me a lot of questions about different things which I'm always willing to answer. Um so as always, if anyone's got any questions Contact me, contact Mark. If you're not following Mark, he is the chunk identity with underscore in between each word. Um, Mark does his own vlogs as well. Um, probably not as much as I do, but he, he, he's starting to move forward with his videos and stuff. So, yeah, give him a give him a follow. Um, I've had the tips today on yeah. getting some of my uh, you know Instagram uh, skills up to speed. And should also mention that... Uh, when Martin first came over, we were watching the end of uh, Christina's epic Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Epic, epically session, long live, bless she her. She about two and a half hours when she was at work. So, yeah. Uh, yeah, I put her up on the big screen as well. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. she's a, she's a, she's a top girl, Christina. She, she's awesome. She, I know she said about she wants to come to London. It's the top of her, top of her list. She wants to get over to the UK. Um, and what I've said to her, well, me and John, have, like, if she comes over, and also Mark, that we'll um we'll all meet up, show her around, because obviously she'll be a stranger. She's never been over here before, I don't think. Mm. Um, so yeah, that'd be nice as well. So um, yeah, well, I'm going to do the live tomorrow um, from seven on Instagram. Mark Mark will be on as usual. Yeah. Um, and I would imagine some of the regulars, and hopefully we we'll get some new people come on. Don't be shy. Um, it's very relaxed. Uh, it's very informative. We have a little bit of a giggle as well. Very very light mooded. So. Um, 
yeah, feel free to join. And um, yeah, and we will speak to you all soon. So it's a bye from me. Stay focused, stay positive as always. It's a bye from me. I don't have a sign off yet. I'll figure one out. <laughs> I'm sure he will. But anyway, everyone take care and uh, we'll speak very, very soon.